I'm going to add some support to this playground or this playhouse set and I'm going to be using this 4x4 four four, and I'm actually going to sink it into the ground right about where it is and therefore I could stabilize it all the way up. I typically would use like a cement bag or concrete but I found something else. First things first though, let me dig the hole. To prep the area, I actually got out my walk behind yard trimmer to trim out the grass in this area. I just did it real quick, wasn't trying to get precise, but the grass was really long. It's been raining for like six days and we haven't been able to mow. I also took off the side deck board that was here just so I can get as close as I can to the existing post. I'm actually going to have like a two by four width in between this post and the new post just for stability and of course there is some spacing going up you'll see that later but now i'm going to start digging i could dig with a shovel or a post hole digger but instead i have my auger i've had this for about six years and it makes light work if you're doing a lot of posts so i actually purchased this on probably like 250 bucks but about six years ago and so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down about three feet <laughs> In about 10 minutes, we have a hole that's roughly three feet deep, and that's well below the frost line here in my area. I am going to put about two inches of stone at the bottom just for a level surface and maybe some drainage. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. As you saw, we are going to be setting a fence post in foam. What? I know what you're thinking. I thought it was crazy too. Although I'm actually not installing a fence, I am putting a four by four in a hole. I'm doing everything that you would do if you were setting a fence post. I'm just going to be ending up doing a different application in the end. Let's get right to the review. Here is our Sika post fix. This is um, two different liquids in a bag and this one pouch here is supposed to replace two 50 pound bags of concrete. The idea is, is there's a seam here in the middle separating the two liquids. You're supposed to break that seam under just pressure, pushing one liquid into the other, mix it up vigorously. They recommend over a ladder rung for about 15 seconds. After that liquid gets a chance to go from one side of the bag to the other, you just cut this here and you pour it into the hole and wait. It should foam up within three minutes. They do recommend that you have your post set plumb and square before starting this process, just so you don't have to worry about it not being straight as the foam starts setting. I purchased this product from Lowe's for right around $14, which is more expensive than two 50 pound bags of cement, although I could not just lift two 50 pound bags of cement that easily. All right, so they do recommend you having a pair of gloves and eyewear and scissors. Actually, it's not a recommendation, it's a requirement. You don't wanna get this on your hands, of course, in your eyes. I've used other products just like this and they actually came with gloves. Sadly, this one does not. My post is already set, square, plumb, all those good things. So let's go prep this product and pour it in the hole and see what it does. We are level, standing on both ends. We are plumb, we are ready to go. I will say I mentioned earlier in this video that the ground has been wet because it's been raining. Now there's no water in the hole. The directions tell you you're not allowed to have water, sitting water in the hole. Try to get as much of that out as you can. If you can't get it out, put some stones in there to cover the water. My The hole here is completely dry, um, so just so you know that. All right, here goes nothing. Got my gloves on. You're supposed to roll this up, burst the seal, there it burst, get over top of here, back and forth about 15 seconds. You're just trying to get the content from one side of the bag to the other, making sure it's all mixed up. All right, after about 15 seconds, you take your, uh, your knife, your scissors, whatnot, cut the corner and start pouring in the liquid. This is green coming out, so just so you're aware. To get every last bit, I'm gonna roll up the bag. Get it all to come out. It's been down in there working just a little over a minute. I can start to see some of it coming up, but it's about two and a half feet down still. So you do have some time to work before it does the foaming process. Here we have it looking at a different angle. We've gone a total of two minutes and I think we're about 18 inches down. It's still moving its way up the hole. Even though I didn't do a great job pouring it evenly on one side versus the other, I can see it at least in the hole moving its way around the post, but you can definitely see it foaming up, coming up the hole. We're gonna get the surface anytime now. 
This has been going for a total of five minutes. I think it stopped and it was strange because on this side here to the left, you can see it's almost to the surface, about two inches down, but on the right side, it's about six to eight inches down. It was leveling out, but for some reason it stopped. I'm not sure if that means I have to go get another bag or if it's gonna keep pushing up. We'll just watch it for a little while. So it looks like that's as high as it's gonna expand. I'm a little disappointed. I did read through the directions and for my post, it was four by four, 36 inches deep. It was supposed to be perfect for one bag. Now they do say if it doesn't fill to the top, you can fill it in or backfill it with dirt. I don't want to backfill mine with dirt, so I went and bought another pouch. For me, I want the foam to come all the way up to the top. Yes, I know this is probably going to spill out and over, and that's okay with me. I'll just cut that off, but I want foam all the way up to the surface. If you're using this to actually put fence posts in, you would not actually need to go get another bag. Just fill it, backfill with dirt, rate to grade, and then move on to the next one. Let me know your thoughts of this process. Would you use foam instead of concrete to set fence posts? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. We just poured it in and this time you can definitely see it foaming up a lot faster. I will say as I was trying to get every last bit out of the bag, I noticed the bag was warm. So this chemical reaction must create some sort of heat. And here it comes outside of the hole. Like I said before, I'm okay with this spilling out and over. I'm gonna end up just cutting this off later, but I want the foam all the way to the top. It's been about five minutes and it looks like it's done expanding. I'm gonna let it sit here for an hour and then I'll get a saw or a knife and cut off everything to grade, but this did exactly what I wanted it to do. As you can see, I've cut away a lot of this foam and it really just is a dense foam. It's pretty impressive. This post is pretty solid and I think hanging a fence or putting a fence up, this would be great. Now it should be noted that this foam stuff is not for structural things. You need to use cement for that. This for me, just tying this place set to the ground is fine, but it should not be used as a structural form. I have other posts that I'll be putting in that will be more structural and those ones I will end up using cement for. In this video, we were taking a look at a product called Sika and it's their post fix. So what did I think of it? Well, the price range that I've seen ranges anywhere from $12 all the way on up to $20, depending on the retailer you purchase from. And that actually is pretty expensive. If you have 10 posts, to put up or fill, you're looking at at least 130, maybe all the way up to $250 just for the product to put in the ground. On the other hand, it is really lightweight and easy to use, much easier than concrete. There's no mixing and water and all that good stuff. It's just ready to go after about 15 seconds. Even though you can use this in the winter, the directions say you have to keep it inside like about 60 degrees Fahrenheit or so for several hours before you use a product just so it mixes easily. In my opinion, I would not mind using this for fence posts, although I like every fourth post, I would probably switch back to concrete just so I know it's really stable, but this stuff is really, really convenient, although it is expensive. I will say, when I did my initial measurement, I guess the manufacturer wants it so you have a little bit before you reach the surface so you can backfill. So even though I, I cut and measured and did everything like I was supposed to, I guess the overall intent was it was never supposed to reach the ground level, just so you're aware of that. Anyway, that is my full review of the Sika post fix. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I just wanted to show you what this foam looked like after a few weeks after I cut it off. Now I did mention that I used just a regular saw, like a wood saw, and it cut really, really easily and it came off really almost in one or two pieces. But look at this, the color has gotten a lot darker and this is really, really dense foam. In my opinion, in the ground, this is definitely holding in the fence post. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I use this foaming fence post mix by Sika. You know what? I'm actually using it on a project. Well, another project. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that one right up here. And it's actually where I'm building a playset for my son and it's going along pretty sweet and I'll leave updates along the way. Anyway, here's the original video right here. I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe, I promise.